process of deciding whether to put power lines at Prophetstown State Park. Many worry that would completely destroy the integrity of a 1920s style farm there. A letter writing campaign is already underway. Prophetstown lovers hope their concerns are heard. When you drive in there, it's like you're going back in time. It really is. Dave Sattler is one of many who enjoys what the farm at Prophetstown has to offer. I mean, you've got chickens running around, you've got ducks, and, and, and uh, it is, it's just, it's magical. You go into the house and you feel like at your grandma's house. You know, it's really, really neat there. But when he heard the Indiana Department of Natural Resources could be relocating power lines here. I couldn't believe it. I thought, why would... Why, why would they even consider that? Duke Energy gave DNR three potential locations for the power lines. It can put them on the farm, it can build them on land DNR plans to develop, or DNR can purchase new land for the lines. But the farm would be the cheapest place for the project. I sure hope they can come up with a, another option. I mean, I don't know how much money we're talking about. Profits Town Board President Steve Dietrich hopes DNR considers how long the park is going to be around. It's going to outlive all of us. Um, you know, we're talking about hundreds of years in, 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 in concept that, that a farm's going to, or the park's going to be there. A few hundred thousand dollars for that period of time to do the right thing and get things set up doesn't seem to be out of the question to me. I just hope everybody uh, who has a feeling about this and would hate to see that happen uh, politely say, you know, I don't think it's a good idea. We're still hoping that, that they come up with some either new alternative that satisfies everybody um, or, or can make, you know, make ends meet. Well, DNR has until November 9th to make a decision. We reached out for comment, but have yet to hear back. Well, for the first time since her arrest, we're learning 